This voice was filled with anger and a trace of force even impacted Yang Kai's knowledge see when he heard it. Yang Kai just coldly snorted, condensing his spiritual energy to offset this shockwave. Hearing this voice, Hai Jen, who was still entangled by the golden thread was overjoyed, and shouted, Marshal Uncle, save me. From this cry, Jiang Kai immediately understood that the person approaching must be the Void Return Stage Elder from Sea Heart Sect he had been hearing about. Heavenly Faith City was only a few dozen kilometers away from Dragon Cave Mountain, so with a message being sent a short time ago, it was not strange for this master to arrive so quickly. However, Yang Kai was not afraid, in fact, he had been waiting for this Void Return Stage Master to arrive so he could settle this issue once and for all. Staring in the direction of the approaching man, a strange smile appeared on Yang Kai's face as he condensed an invisible blade of spiritual energy from his knowledge sea and shot it towards the other side. Since the other party wanted to use their divine sense to attack him, Yang Kai naturally felt it rude to not return the gesture. The streak of light which was rapidly approaching suddenly staggered and a low shout rang. Trembling slightly, the light streak surrounding the approaching master trembled and seemed on the verge of collapsing. Although the one who was coming was a First Order Void Return Stage Master, under Yang Kai's Divine Sense attack, he had still suffered a small loss and now had a suspicious look on his face, no longer rampantly approaching Dragon Cave Mountain but instead doing so vigilantly. He had just received a message from one of his sex disciples that they had found a good place to stay and the owner had submissively welcomed them. He had just thought it was a small family and had flown over with a great interest but the sight which greeted him was an embarrassing scene. In the blink of an eye, the Void Return Stage Master from Sea Heart Sect arrived at Dragon Cave Mountain and revealed his figure. Yang Kai glanced at him and found that this man gave off a powerful image, if not an imposing one. He had a sturdy build and long red hair, accompanied by a somewhat flat nose and concave eyes. This man had a fierce and somewhat malicious look about him overall. Sweeping his eyes over the scene in front of him, this newcomer's eyes shrank, and anger filled his heart. Although strong dragons don't challenge local snakes, his Sea Heart sect was considered a strong force and shadowed star so, after traveling so far just to witness his disciple in such a miserable state, he immediately questioned angrily, Boy, what's the meaning of this? When he said this, he stared straight at Yang Kai, a cold coercive light flashing across his eyes. Although he had suffered a small loss just now, when he discovered Yanka's true cultivation, he was not afraid, subconsciously believing this boy had used something like a powerful artifact to achieve the last strike he made. With his void return stage cultivation, dealing with a mere Saint King was child's play, all he needed to do was use his sheet to suppress the other party. What do you mean? Yang Kai grinned at him, seemingly not caring in the slightest about his coercion, remaining calm and relaxed. Why did you attack my disciple? The red-haired cultivator asked sharply. Why? Yang Kai smiled lightly and glanced over at Hai Jin whose face was black and blue, swollen all over. Your Excellency, why not just ask your disciple to explain? The red-haired cultivator frowned before glaring fiercely at his disciple quickly snapping, Tell me what the hell happened here. If you were the one who wronged him first, don't blame this old master for not involving himself, however, if it was others who first shamed you. Although my sea heart sect space is in the limitless ocean, we are not some soft persimmon that anyone can pinch. These words were spoken quite meaningfully, and when Hai Jen heard them, his eyes quickly lit up and he immediately wore a despondent expression, leaking tears and snot as he cried out, Marshal Uncle must see. We were simply following your instructions to find a suitable place to lodge when we came across this place. I wanted to have a polite discussion with the owner of this place to negotiate an appropriate price to rent some rooms here, but how could I have known these people would act so unreasonably? Without any provocation, he suddenly attacked. Caught off guard, disciple was captured by this scoundrel and then humiliated by him, forced to speak words contrary to my beliefs and convictions causing me such great shame I can only wish for death. I beg Marshal Uncle to seek justice for me. 
Yang Kai stared at Hai Jen in amazement discovering for the first time that this man really had no sense of shame. With his miserable appearance and the forlorn tone he cried out in, it was as if he had suffered unimaginable shame and torment. Although Yang Kai was angered by this farce, his expression remained calm and only a light sneer appeared on his face. The red-haired old man heard this and the cold light in his eyes became more profound, asking in the next moment, Did you inform him you were all disciples of Sea Heart Sect? Yes, disciple made sure to state our origins but he didn't put our Sea Heart Sect in his eyes at all, Hyjin replied with a sad face continuing to speak a stream of slander and embellishment thinking that now that his martial uncle was here, he was perfectly safe. Great. The red-haired old man took a deep breath before suddenly turning his eyes to Yang Kai, questioning aggressively, Little brat, do you have anything to say? Naturally not, Yang Kai slowly shook his head, his expression somewhat strange, your sea heart sect's secret arts and martial skills don't seem to be worth much, but your ability to speak nonsense in reverse black and white is truly impressive. Little brat, you dare to insult my sea heart sect. The red-haired old man was infuriated and almost could not stop himself from immediately attacking. Although he understood that any force which was situated so close to Heavenly Fate City must have some connection to Shadow Moon Hall, with the latter being suppressed on all sides by Shadowed Star's great forces, he figured that if he taught this boy a lesson, it wouldn't raise any fuss. According to his estimations, Shadow Moon Hall would not make things difficult for his Sea Heart sect for a few unimportant people. Even if he used this opportunity to seize this Dragon Cave Mountain, presumably Shadow Moon Hall would remain silent, bringing contempt upon oneself yet trying to blame others. Yang Kai coldly snorted as he turned to stare at Hai Jen and said, Do you think I don't dare to kill you? Ah. Uh. Hai Jen noticed murderous intent in Yang Kai's eyes and his expression changed dramatically. Little brat, you dare. The red-haired old man also felt something was wrong and quickly released his sheet to envelop Yang Kai, trying to limit his movements and save his disciple. Yang Kai simply shot this old man a contemptuous glance before clenching his fist, causing his golden thread to flicker and a faint slicing noise to ring out, his actions as swift as the wind, not affected by the red-haired old man's she at all. Demon Blood Temple's secret technique could cut through she, so the golden blood used by Yang Kai, which was a more powerful variant, naturally had such ability as well. How could the red-haired old man possibly hinder it? The golden thread cut into Hai Jen's body a dozen times in an instant, after which Yang Kai withdrew it, allowing Hai Jen to stand on his own in a daze, unable to figure out what had just happened. However, in the next moment, his face changed dramatically as he looked down at his body and found thin lines of blood flowing out from all over it. This blood continued flowing out steadily until all of a sudden it burst forth like a fountain. With a clatter, as if a mirror had been broken, Hai Jen collapsed to the ground in dozens of pieces of minced meat. A bloody smell filled the air and witnessing this horrifying scene caused the dozen or so other Sea Heart Sect disciples to go pale, with a few of the more timid women turning away and vomiting. The red-haired old man's eyes instantly bulged as he stared at Yang Kai and his belief. It seemed he had never imagined this little brat would act so decisively and ruthlessly. As for Yang Kai, at first, he didn't intend on killing these people, only wanting to teach them a harsh lesson to deter others from having ideas about Dragon Cave Mountain, but the way the situation developed with Hai Jin and this red-haired old man so blatantly confusing right and wrong, Yang Kai's murderous intent had been roused. As such, Yang Kai could not be bothered trying to negotiate a settlement here. A trivial force from the limitless ocean was nothing he needed to take seriously. After the tragic death of Hai Jen, the red-haired old man was naturally livid, his fiery hair blowing outwards despite there being no wind as his murderous intent soared to the heavens. Gritting his teeth, he called out menacingly, Little brat, this old master will make you pay for this in blood. The one who died just now was Sea Heart Sect's top disciple, making the loss quite significant. This red-haired old man had been ordered to remain near Heavenly Fate City to monitor the movements of the Emperor Garden and Hai Jen had been left in his care so the latter could gain some life experience here, however. 
before being able to accomplish anything significant Hai Jen had been tragically killed. After returning to the sect this old man would suffer severe punishment. After all, Hai Jen was a direct descendant to the sect's great elder. Daring to act dissolute in my dragon cave mountain? None of you will leave here alive. Yang Kai's expression became stern as murderous intent burst from his body. Killing one or killing a dozen made no difference to him, but the deterrent from killing everyone here would clearly be stronger, making it less likely others would try to requisition Dragon Cave Mountain in the future. Oh, it's so lively here. Just as Yang Kai and the red-haired old man were about to act, voice filled with surprise called out from afar and soon after two streams of light quickly appeared on the horizon. At the same time, two powerful divine senses belonging to Void Return Stage Realm Master swept the area. Realizing the strength of the approaching party, the red-haired old man's expression became gloomy and he glanced over. Yang Kai raised his brow, revealing a surprised but somewhat understanding look. Senior brother, senior brother Yang seems to be fighting with someone, after the first voice called out, a second, melodious female voice followed up. And, senior brother noticed but I really wonder which blind fool actually dared come to provoke Dragon Cave Mountain. Too interesting. The male voice quipped, seemingly taking pleasure in another's misfortune. The red-haired man heard this and could not help feeling his heart clench. Was there some reason this Dragon Cave Mountain should not be provoked? Wasn't this place just some small family force attached to Shadow Moon Hall? The red-haired old man frowned. He was no fool though, so he immediately withdrew his murderous intent while putting on a solemn expression. A moment later, the two streams of light had flown over and as their glow faded, two figures appeared. One of these figures was an imposing and heroic-looking young man with sharp eyes. Being stared at by this young man, the red-haired old man could not help feeling chills shoot up his spine, causing the unease in his heart to grow stronger. Beside this young man was a beautiful young woman who stood shoulder to shoulder with him, the two of them looking very intimate. Obviously, these two shared an uncommon relationship. After the newly arrived young woman's pair of beautiful eyes looked around, she revealed a curious look. Upon seeing Dai Yuan standing behind Yang Kai though, this young woman called out in pleasant surprise, Big sister Dai Yuan, you're here too. Xuan Er. Dai Yuan returned the smile. To be continued.